Now you may be looking at me right now and thinking, what the hell happened to your face? Why are you so sunburned and sun damaged? <laughs> And that is because, guys, it's a trend. Of course I'm gonna do it. Surprisingly, and kind of unsurprisingly, a new kind of trend of being sunburn and borderline sun damage has become extremely popular, right? Listen, I kind of get this one. We do, there is something, actually, let me just say, I'm not condoning laying out in the sun and getting sun damage or being sunburned, but there is something really nice about having a tan and catching a bit of sun on your cheeks, you know? You know when you go to a hot place and you, you're like, oh God, I've been in the sun a little bit too much, but then you're kind of looking at your face thinking like, yeah, yeah. And this is kind of what people are going for, that sun kiss, sun flush. I've taken it a step further and gone for the sun burn very, very slightly. I mean, these trends have been around for quite a long time, but this kind of came around because of this photo shoot that happened in GQ China. It is a really, really cool photo shoot, but it features some models that are quite obviously, well, it's with makeup, sun damaged, right? Sun burn quite a bit. You can see, for example, on his face, we literally have a mark where there were sunglasses and there's been, and he's been burnt. The cheeks are quite rosy, very rosy, high shine cheeks on this image. This is behind the scenes, this is the model. Very obvious, like, this is where my clothes were, this is the sun damage all around here. I'm saying sun damage because it's sun burn, which is pretty much like damaged skin, right? And this is a theme throughout. You can see where, you know, this kind of clothing line, that redness on the skin. There's been a lot of post-production in terms of touching up if you look at the images behind the scene but it's borderline in these images the face almost looks like it's bleeding because it's so burnt and so sun damaged and of course the internet takes this either way they make it a subtle trend they make it like an actual goal to be that sunburn excuse me or they make it like a really nice, subtle kind of look. I've gone for the kind of, I'm in my 60s and I haven't changed my makeup since the 70s. I've gone for like a purpley lid with a flesh tone, quite a bright under eye. You know, I'm retired and I'm on vacation and I don't really care about my skin. That was my theme today. That's not saying everyone at that age doesn't care about skin. You know, I'm, I'm creating a character here. But the sunburnt blush has become a trend, which I actually really, really like. I think it's a really cute look. Quite like the look of a sunburnt face. Yes, me too. And A Cosmetics <laughs> just came out with these sun blushes and they're very like sun color. This one's in sunlit ten. It's more pink. But this I feel like will give me the look of a sunburn. Sunray 40. It's dark. Mm -hmm. But I want to try it. See sunburns always have this kind of like deeper um kind of like ready brown to it. I've recorded, I filmed how I did this look, so we'll do watch that at the end of this video. I'll take you the products I use in case you want to replicate sunburn. But yeah, it's definitely a deeper shade. It's definitely a deeper shade, so you can't really just go on with bright pink and be like, mm, I look sunburned. And they have this cute brush to go with it. So, look. I already have some blush on, but I don't know, I just kind of want to go like this. The key is as well to to like the sunburn areas are it's it's on top. The sun is here to imagine it coming down. That's why I've done like this sunglasses ring. Can you see around my nose here? And I've focus the colour more on the top of my cheeks here, which you'll see a lot of people do. Otherwise, it verges on that, oh, I'm cold, you know, when you do it around here and up around the nose. Do you know what I think would make this look even cuter? We're gonna add freckles. We're going for full sun kissed. Okay, here's the finished look. Yeah, I, I definitely think it's not a bring it across the whole face situation. Like a little bit here and then a little bit there. But you don't want like this this mask if you if you want to replicate it. But people keep on looking at this picture of Kim Kardashian. What the fuck did she do to her face? What is this? What happened? I want to replicate the look of being sunburnt with all the peeling I want and to replicate shit. The look of being sunburnt without all the peeling skin oh, and ow. shit. I want a very skin-like base for this, so I'm starting with a dewy serum, and then I'm applying a light layer of matte foundation over that with a damp beauty blender. Then to make myself look more sun-kissed, I'm going in with a kind of shimmery bronzer. I'm putting that on my eyes, chin, and nose. And I honestly wanted to do very light concealer for this, but this one size concealer is so pigmented, bitch. It's okay though, it still looks good. Then onto blush, I'm using two different blushes. I'm putting a more corally blush straight across my face, and then a deep red on the center of my nose. 
Then to add definition to my eyes, I'm lining them with bronzer and a little bit of eyeliner. Then my favorite part, the freckles. I'm just focusing this on my nose because I feel like whenever people get sunburned, a lot of it is focused in the center of the face, you know? And then I'm going back in with that red blush and just packing it on my lips. And you can leave it matte like this or add a lip oil. I love this lip oil. Oh my God, it's so oh nice gosh. and buttery. Either look great. Okay. And that is what you call sunburnt chic, baby. But for real, bitch, wear sunscreen next time. Yeah. I'm not playing with you. Bye. Yeah, wear sunscreen. Yeah, wear sunscreen. Now, I think this next girl has done it perfectly. Like, it looks like you're slightly burnt. You can kind of see it's all up here on the top of the cheek. Is this a filter? Because I know there's a sunburn filter. But you can see it's all up here above the cheek. And it looks like, you know, it's just so I put, put concealer on and stuff like that. I think people are just doing it as colour, but it really needs to be positioning too. You know what I mean? Okay, and then we have the extreme sunburn challenge. Here's the deal, right? The reason I want to show you these is because we can, you know what? It's fine to be like, I want to look a little bit sunburn. Let's do it with makeup, like these people are doing because there's some people that aren't. That is extreme. Love the idea, love the artistry, love the theme. I think that looks really good. I think she did a really good job there. The chest looks real. Wanting to be sunburned on the face is a bit of a bit of a strange one, but this is just for artsy reasons. No, that doesn't join up. Oh, was that, was that the finished result? Look, you can see it going over the line here and it's not quite joined up and also the straps are uneven as she's done that with fake tan. Wouldn't this whole triangle area be, oh, be covered? Unless your bikini is strap and a strap that goes around the boob, so the boob is hanging out. Okay, so we have a trend being made here. We have it in like a magazine looking great. People are replicating like a sunburnt look, right? So we're we're not glorifying sunburn just yet, but we're, we're getting on our way to it. Now, this says shower and skincare with a slight sunburn after a lake day. Hmm. Does it look cute? Sure. However, to the girls that purposely burn their face because when they do their confidence goes up, let me tell you, that confidence, give it 10 years for that sun damage to show through, that confidence isn't going to be very up. This is a different person saying exactly the same thing, girls who purposely sunburn their faces when they do their confidence goes up. I don't know why, I just feel prettier when I have a sunburn. Listen, that's all I'm going to say, listen. This girl, no one, me trying to get that cute beach girl sunburn, but in the actual sun? Wait, so you, but you're only trying to sunburn around your eyes. Oh, on the cheeks. You should have done around your eyes too. The trend of purposely sunburning is very, very concerning. When it can be just done with makeup, you can just put a bit of a right, find the right color blush, put it up here, bit round there, you're good. You don't need to like purposely sunburn. That's very concerning. So I thought, let me have a go at it. This is a look I created. Let me show you how I made it and I'll talk you through it. Okay, so I first started with this eyeshadow palette from a brand called Wake Make. I'll link everything down below for you if you like the products individually. And I wanted to do an eye look that had like no redness. I wanted it to be really um, like cold because I thought then the red on my skin will look more red without having to do extra red or an extra sunburnt look, if you know what I mean. And um, sometimes red on the eyes, red on the lips can um, either bring out redness in other places or make it look less red. So I thought, let's just keep it neutral. And originally I wanted to do like this 70s, 60s kind of eye look, but I thought I can't be bothered. 
<laughs> for the cut crease situation. So I did a nod to, a nod to that. I used my Typology Serum. This is a little bit deeper than my skin tone. Um, I want to show you my forehead so you can see actually how light my skin is compared to this. Just so we have an underlying tan. This is a blush from Freck and it's quite a nice creamy, almost watery blush. And I placed that just on the top of my cheekbones and you'll see I'll take it almost right up to under the eye, but I'm leaving that little gap on the inside corner. So I have that nod to a sunglasses mark. Looking quite red here and quite shiny, but I didn't want to be too shiny. We do mattify later. I'm using a freckle pen. This is from Freck as well. A freckle pen is not really a pen. It's more like the ink, but these I want it to be more sporadic. So if you do a few little taps and then just kind of get your finger and tap it and move it around at all angles, 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 you get a really nice like sporadic freckle look. I did a little bit of powder, but then I realized, wait a minute, freckles aren't really one tone. This is my um, double serum spray. So I added in a different shade from Freck to add some depth to a freckle so they don't just like dots. I underlined my bottom lip and overlined my top lip. And I used this um, gloss from Heart Percent. It looks like a nail polish, but it's a plumping gloss. Not painful at all. Um, just for this really like bronzy shine to the lip. I wanted it to look like my lip had tan lines. <laughs> and that was a full look. Yeah, sunburn. All right, well, thank you so, so much for joining me. Let me know what you think of sunburn and sun damage in general down below. Do please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.